This video is rated EISO for educational information and I'm showing off. My name is Henry and I like modular synthesizers and oscilloscopes. This is Scope Crazy. I'm going to show you how to make interesting curves in an oscilloscope using pure data and Reaper. I've always loved to look at complex waveforms on an oscilloscope, and I've been impressed with the work of this guy, Jerabeam Fenderson, the author of oscilloscopemusic.com, who uses software to generate amazing patterns on XY oscilloscopes. I'm using Pure Data, a powerful sound synthesis app, and Reaper, a digital audio workstation, to record the output from PD. My first challenge was to get the audio out of Pure Data into Reaper, which was pretty easy. Installing Reaper with the reroute option let me set Pure Data's output to reroute and Reaper's input to reroute. I built an oscillator that generates sine and cosine waves at the same time and patched the sines into the left channel and the cosines to the right channel. Displayed on an XY scope, one of these oscillators makes a circle. I can set the fundamental frequency to a MIDI note, in this case note 45, which corresponds to A2 at 110 Hz and I can also fine-tune it by only 2 Hz to add some motion, and I can control the level. I duplicated this a bunch of times and ended up with an additive sine cosine wave synthesizer with 13 harmonics. As I add harmonics I get static patterns. Here's the second harmonic mixed with the fundamental. Here's the third. The fourth. the fifth, and the thirteenth. The fine-tune slider detunes the oscillator and then we get some motion. Too much detuning and things move too fast. That's why I keep that stuff to a minimum. By the way, I have two vector scope visualizers in Reaper. Stereo Tool preserves the last few cycles and has an automatic gain control, which I don't like. And the other one, ADC Vector Scope, displays as little disconnected dots. So that's no good for final video. I'd like to take this setup on the road to add visuals to my own light performances, but this big honkin' PC ain't going nowhere, and an old $20 oscilloscope off Craigslist isn't much of a display. Someday I'll get some old tube TVs converted to display a lo-fi version of these curves. Now, some of the big boys like Hainbach and Derek Holzer use old modified Vectrix video games from the 1980s. Holzer also uses lasers reflecting light off mirrored galvanometers, as does Albert Novello. Derek Holzer also just released a book about vector oscilloscope synthesis. Here's a free plug. Down the road, I'll add more modulators and LFOs to slowly change parameters, but I like where this first test came out. So that wraps up this first installment of Scope Crazy. Check back later, and I'll show you the next evolution. Thanks for killing time with me. Links and info in the comments.